Hello all. In today's video, we are going to focus on the different components or attributes of the test plan. So, as we have already seen in previous video, the test plan is nothing but a, you can say one document which includes the whole testing process, which is very helpful for doing the testing of particular software. Right. So, this test plan have a complete testing process of the software application. So, it is very crucial document for testing team so what actually what are the different components or the attributes included in the test plan so it include the following attribute so first is the test plan identifier so this test plan identifier is you can say it's a number or unique identifier with a version number so it also be used to identify a particular document uniquely so this is nothing but a test plan identifier so next is the next component will be the introduction so what actually included in the introduction is what is the purpose of this document or overview of particular software which is to be tested so overall introduction of your software application or the overview or the higher level introduction is included in this particular component that is introduction so next is the test scope so under the test scope component it includes the test scope which defines the what are we going to be test or you can say the scope of testing or at what extent this particular testing will be done so basically the what are the different testings or you can say the boundaries of testing is defined under the test scope then the next is the testing objective so this test objective component defines the testing goal means what you are going to test and it basically provides you the guidelines for the testing so here the testers uh, tester can refer this particular guidelines and do their testing then the next is the assumption so for testing you require some assumptions or some prerequisite so that particular assumptions are comes under this particular assumption section so basically some values will be there which you are going to do a testing so next is the risk analysis in under the risk analysis this particular document include the or component include the what are the different risk will be there you may face while doing a testing and what what are the different impacts on this particular testing efforts or will there hamper your schedule for testing is comes under the risk analysis for example uh, the risk may be like the, a particular software or build is hand over hand over to you and along with that they have not provided particular test data or there are some challenges to create a, for creation of particular test data will be the risk so how it will hamper it will delay in your testing right so this kind of risk will be uh, we can say is included under this particular component then the next is the strategy so what is mean by strategy or what it include in this particular component so here under strategy they have defined the different levels of testing in scope means for this particular software product which kind of testing or levels are there like uh, unit testing integration testing or functional testing like that then what which method you are going to use for the testing then uh, how many number of test cases you are going to execute so will there some functional or non functional testing or performance security testing is included or not what is the process or what will be the you can say which environment you are going to use will anyone going to provide your test data or uh, uh, do you need to create or generate the test data all these details are included in this particular strategy section then the next main important point is features to be tested or not to be tested means under the scope in this particular testing scope they have 
this uh, means mention what is the scope of your project or what you have need to be test but in features to be tested or not tested there are some functionalities which they have mentioned means which functionality you have to test and which you may skip is included in this particular features to be tested and not to be tested then roles and responsibilities here they have given the structure and the roles and responsibilities of the testing team then the test schedule and resources means here they have given the sequence of the testing or the time estimation or the you can say schedule for the testing is given in the test schedule then entry and exit criteria include in entry criteria, entry criteria it describe when to start the testing means when you are going to get a build what environment means by fulfilling which criteria you can start the testing is included under the entry criteria and in exit criteria it describes when you have to stop the testing means after fulfilling which criteria means for example there are 100 test cases and when you execute the all 100 test cases successfully you can stop the testing so this kind of description or the instructions are given under this entry and exit criteria then there is a resumption criteria or you can say means uh, or a suspension criteria so means what for example while testing the uh, if there are 100 test cases right and while testing you find one defect right and it will block all other test cases all other further test cases so means you you are going to pause or suspend this particular testing activity right and when you have to resume you have to resume this particular testing when that particular defect is get fixed and you will get a new build then you can resume your testing activity and you can do a further testing then the next part is a test environment so what is mean by test environment it include what kind of software configuration what kind of hardware configuration you require or what are the uh, you can say different versions of software you will require for testing or which defect uh, tracking mechanism or tool you are going to do use or what are the different environmental stages or types of testing you are going to use while doing the testing all these points comes under the testing environment then the next is a communication approach so what is mean by communication approach or communication plan means what kind of report or status or meetings or tools you are going to use is included in this communication approach and the next is a testing tool so testing tool means what kind of defect management tool or defect tracking tool different or any other test management tool or configuration management tool you are going to use is described in this particular testing tool so basically these are the different components or attributes which comes under the test plan it may vary according to a different structure but basically these are the you can say these are the some important components or basic components which comes in the test plan there are some you can say the variety but this basic entry and exit criteria or roles and responsibility objectives all these are the common points in each and every test plan component like introduction or identifier number so uh, according to uh, every organization or you can say the uh, need of different particular software there may be a variety in this component or attribute it may uh, increase or decrease or some names will be different in the test plan but these are the some basic components you can say or you can explain while explaining the test plan document okay thank you all